All right, and welcome to round one here with uh, Mono Red Phoenix here. Dipping into modern a little bit. Nice to, uh, nice to mix it up here. So we're on the play, which is excellent. Three lands is kind of a lot for this deck, but we have a one drop. We have Metamorphose. If we get like a Faithless looting or something, this hand is like insane. So I think we're going to keep this. It's, it's close. It is a close one though. Four lands, I think you always mulligan. Without Faithless looting... Sometimes even with Faithless Looting, it's just not good enough. But yeah, most of the time, two to three lands is your sweet spot here. And sometimes one is fine. That's just uh, that's just the power level of this deck. And it shows how little resources you truly need to uh, deal those 20 points of damage. All right, what are we up against? A beautiful Island. Ooh, Mill. Mill probably is a good matchup for us. I could be wrong. All right, so we're going to go Manamorphose. Yeah, putting a bunch of Phoenixes into our graveyard seems kind of nice. And Faithless Looting's into the yard. So I kind of maybe want them to mill a little bit. We don't really want to waste these gut shots if we're going to need a high density of spells to be able to bring back Phoenixes. That will inevitably go to our yard from crabs. So drawing that, that was bad couple draws here, but what can you do? So we want to hit Faithless loot Lootings and Phoenixes here. We hit a Faithless Looting, so that's awesome. So regardless, next turn we can discard Arclight and actually double gut shot. We can get back Phoenix this turn. And maybe kill the crab if we're feeling a little afraid. Glimpse us. Glimpse. Ooh. Ooh, we get to kind of get them. Let's see the mode here. Okay, so we have to just discard both gut shots. Anyways, if we want this to stay alive. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to kill this. Now this brutality is two mana, discard a card, do nothing. <laughs> Love it. Doesn't kill this. Brutality doesn't take anything. Now we can Faithless Looting to discard some uh, some cards we don't want. Okay, we definitely have cards we don't want. Loot, loot, loot. Draw two. Maybe it's just discard two lands. You know, I mean, when we're this flooded, all we need is four and we'd rather just cast it. So unfortunately, ideally you want to be discarding Phoenixes, but when we don't have the spells necessary to bring it back, it's just best to cast it. I, I can imagine Mill has a bit of a rough time with just fast, aggressive red creatures. So I think we might be okay here. Okay, there's an arc light. Now, if we get milled to another Faithless Looting, we might do that, but no such luck yet. Okay, maybe now. Nope. No Faithless Looting. Got some Phoenixes and a Lava Dart. Okay, so we still only do have two spells to cast. So in this situation, we could just go Swift Spear and Bolt this, or we just cast a Phoenix and attack. Yeah, I think cast a Phoenix and attack here. Because we can do a cool play if our opponent decides they want to block. We can Lava Dart the face. And then Soul Scourge Mage will kill the crab. We'll see if our opponent sees the line. Yeah, Mill can't be good against us when we're just like flipping over free Lava Darts and stuff. Hello. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, are they dead next turn? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, we have ten damage. So we want them to mill some more goodies. Look at these mitch mismatch islands. Ew. Vomit. Any spell? Hmm, that won't do it. So we'll cast this. We are not going to go for the win now because we don't have it. Plain and simple. See if fatal push, okay. 
Maybe we do fire this off. Because if we top deck a land in Phoenix, let's think. So four damage right now. We could make it plus four. We could make it eight. And then any of the Phoenixes would be lethal. Okay. Talked me into it. Twisted my arm. Now any light bolt, lightning bolt is for the win as well. Or just either of these Phoenixes. So I think that puts us in a pretty good position. Ooh. That got rid of our Phoenixes, huh? Okay. That'll buy him some time. But we're still attacking for seven. It's a pretty good card against us. Pretty good. All right, so still they're not dead next turn. We have seven. If we top deck a lightning bolt, then they are dead. Orb. Okay, that could be good for us if we mill some goodies. Lava darts, lava darts. There's one. There's a phoenix. All right, so we got one lava dart. I don't think that's going to be enough to be lethal. That's nine damage. Nope. Okay, so we'll just attack. All right. There we go. We're getting a little dangerously close here to being milled out. They probably have like an archive trap in hand. So that's 13, 14, 15, 16. So we'll still be good by one. But then we'll also have a bunch of lava darts in the yard. So that should be good as well. This game is closer than I thought it would be, to be honest. All right, there we go. This should be a good matchup though, it really should be. All right, so now what to bring in? I can imagine they don't have a lot of artifact destruction, so sh Shrine is probably good. Gut Shot seems basically unplayable. Lava Dart's okay because they mill it. And this is a deck where you don't wanna be over sideboarding. So yeah, make sure to uh, keep your sideboarding to a minimum um, of just basically what you expect to see. Now, the thing that I kind of expect is maybe like some bridges. Um, that could be something. And all you really need is this one shenanigans because they're going to mill us. So let's bring that in just in case. They might not bring that in and it might just be a dead card. But I think we're willing to take that risk. No. No. A braid could be good if they do decide to bring in a lot of bridges. I just kind of don't think they will. Definitely don't need any graveyard hate. Gut shot's the only thing that's really bad. I think this is good. Just the three gut shots for one shenanigans and um, um, and two shrine of the burning rage. I think that seems fine. Let's give it a go. All right, on the draw, gonna be a little tougher, but like I said, this should be a good matchup for us. Okay, anything a part of like a chalice on one, we should be pretty set. That card's tough to deal with, but I don't really anticipate them having that. Visions, one mana, draw one. Okay, so we don't have the hasty haste. Whenever you cast an and untap it, so it's the same. So we might as well just get this going. So one lander is a little questionable, but we do have light up the stage. So as long as Soulscar Mage doesn't immediately die, but if it does, and if we don't draw land, then we do get a little punish where our hand's a little slow. But otherwise, a one a one land hand with light up the stage and faithless looting is completely fine most of the time. So don't be too afraid by seeing, oh, one land hand, really? This deck can facilitate it quite well. All right, brutality. Yep, we didn't have the gut shot or anything. So this one's actually gonna be quite strong can take our light up the stage, kill a creature and gain two. So pretty good here. Regardless, we're gonna have another creature to play. Takes the finale, okay. So if we draw land, we still probably just shrine. Mm, okay, gotta do this then and hope this lives. Our opponent's already down to three magic cards though. So we'll draw out of it eventually and then life will be good. Okay, so that is a great reason why we brought in shenanigans and we can still attack with this. So 
And we can actually Faithless loot in here to discard, but it doesn't really do much. So Light Up the Stage is actually better because we're just drawing cards. So we'll attack. Ideally, what we want to do is just Light Up, Light Up. We need to hit a mountain though. And this deck doesn't play a lot of them. So it's a little questionable, but I'm really glad we brought in that uh, copy of Shenanigans. Ugh, ouch. That's not good. Let's hope they can't completely ditch their hand here. Okay, oh, they can collective. Okay. We're gonna just be drawn to shenanigans here for a while then. Yeah, brutality. Oh, they didn't discard. Oh, well, that's okay for us then. Hopefully we draw land. Yeah, okay. So, I guess maybe we still just don't even want to cast Light Up the Stage. Just cast our creatures. Sure. Because we can always Lava Spike and Light Up the Stage next turn. And eventually they'll have to start milling us. Plain and simple. And then eventually we're going to hit Shenanigans. Did we hit it? Not quite yet. All right, so we cannot cast what we want to right now, but we can go shrine, trigger, trigger, and just set up a good board position so that when we do hit it, we kind of go nuts. So we're gonna Faithless Looting. Try to find it and try to discard Phoenixes so that, like I said, once we hit it, we can just really go nuts. All right, loot, discard, discard. No attacks. And there's the crab. Oh, that's cute. Little do you know you're helping us find our shenanigans. Not yet. If it's at the bottom, I guess we just lose, right? All right, so we'll go lava spike. Now we're able to light up thy stage and still cast shenanigans if it's one of these cards and then just attack for a lot. Light up. No such thing, but we got another light up. Anamorphos and lightning bolt, okay. I think we're gonna lightning bolt this crab Slow down the process a little bit. Both the crab. Shrine's getting out of control very quickly. Phoenixes are back. At least that takes creatures out of our graveyard. So, um, so that if they do have that gain three card, it doesn't, um, crypt inclusion, I want to say it's called. It's sorry if I am butchering that, but. Leaving a card in hand, it must be a five drop. That's exciting. There's shenanigans. We did it. All right, any more phoenixes? No, but we should be able to just win the game. Metamorphos. All right. So all we need to do is Metamorphose, red, red, leave three mana open with Shrine, and this should be lethal. And we have these, hit the bridge. As long as they don't have a counter spell. Now we have a Lava Dart. We have two darts in the yard. So we can go boom, boom. Oh, this has to just be so lethal. So lethal has been called. <laughs> Where's the other dart? Oh yeah, we're doing it. Whatever it is, we are officially doing it, my friends. Land. <laughs> and attack for 16. That's already lethal. Then we got an extra 11 coming in. So we have 27 damage. 
not too shabby if I do say so myself. Wow. Well, I do think this is a great matchup for us. Like, I just cannot really see how Mono Red with a bunch of burn spells just can't beat a mill deck when their best offense is an engineered or er, an ensnaring bridge. And when they mill us where that one shenanigans, we're going to find it eventually. So unless they load up bridges and then we just wait and do it turn after turn, they really have to have a surgical on top of that. But if they did have a surgical extraction for shenanigans, we were dead. There's nothing we could do. We, I mean, try and eventually would get there. But I mean, if you look, we're at 14 cards already. They were getting pretty close. So, all right. Thanks for watching this round. Stay tuned for round two with uh, Mono Red Phoenix.